Hello, so here the request is how to make independent user favorite results. So the user would log in, makes the search request, bookmarks some search results, and saves them to their favorites, and then they can see their favorites on the account page. So this is something which comes up with quite a lot of apps, right? You would have favorite videos, colors, homes to look at on different sites. So how do you actually save it to a user though, so that you only see your favorites and the other user only sees their favorites? So let's go on Bubble. First, the back end, I've created a new type of field called colors. So on this basic app, we'll have our all colors and you can pick your favorite colors. So how have I done this? I've got a repeating group, which shows all colors, searches for the colors, all of them, and displays the text, current sales colors text. Then I've added an icon, a star icon, which when you click it, adds the color to the current user's favorite colors. How do I do this? You click on start edit the workflow, and I've done make changes to current user, the list of favorite colors, add current sales color. I've had to actually create this field myself. Just to show you how this would work, I scroll to the bottom, create a new field, list of fave colors, and I would select colors and click that it's a list because I might have three favorite colors. Then I would click create and select it, and then I click add the current sales colors. So if I click red, red would be added to my list of favorite colors. And that's to the current user, not just any user, to the one who's logged in. Okay. And then I've also created a star which is filled up. So it's normally invisible. I've clicked here, I've unticked it, and it's only visible if the current user's list of favorite colors contains the current sales color. So this one is only visible. <coughs> if the current user's list of favorite colors doesn't contain the current sales color. And so, of course, on the workflow for this one, I have list of favorite colors are removed. Current sales color is done. OK, and we wanted also a working search. So I've added this input here, call it search. And then only when the input's value is not empty, it searches for colors whose text contains the input search's value. So if I search for red, it might show me dark red as well as red, for instance. Okay, and then you could go over to your user profile by clicking this button. You could just edit a workflow, go to page, and click create a new page just for the user. And on this page, you could have another repeating group, which is exactly the same as this repeating group, but it shows not all colors or not based on a search, but it just shows the current user's list of favorite colors which is this field we've created and to which we add if we click a color. And then again, we can actually copy the workflows from over here to do this, just right click, copy with workflows and right click again, paste with workflows. So you don't have to do all the conditions yourself. So let's see this in action. So I've already actually favorited four colors. Let's unfavorite them by clicking them. And here let's favorite just blue. Favorite yellow. Etc. Of course, I can also put these icons just behind each other so you only see one icon at a time. That's uh, easily done with Bubble. Just to show you how you would just make sure that the 14915, 10315, you would just make sure that the x coordinates adjust. Okay, I hope that helps you and cheers.